Hi folks, I'm back with another battery experiment and this time it's kind of an opportunistic uh, type of experiment. This is the one of the copper and graphoil uh, plates from uh, experiment a couple of days ago and when I was cleaning it uh, the thin film uh, graphite came off on the uh, graphoil and just stuck there and it covers most of the plate pretty nice. So I thought I'd well I'd try to use that and so I took a zinc plate and I put a coat of uh, glue and uh, titanium dioxide on, on that and then ran a little borax on my finger over top of it after I set up a little bit and gelled that and it's it's still a little uh, gooey but uh, well, we're going to try that and uh, and see if, see how that works and we're just going to take a piece of paper and dip it in some borax and for a separator. So let's do that. And then we don't have to add any water or nothing. Alright, so this is a pretty simple way to do it too. We'll see how well it works. Plate on it. No chance for a, a short this way either. Alright. Get this out of the way. Let's see what kind of bolts we got. Okay. Right in the same ballpark. 81.815. And steady as a rock. So that's good not dropping or anything. Of course we got no bleed offs on it just now either. Okay, so let's see what kind of amps we get out of that. 3, 2, 1, 4.3. Not, not a lot of amps, but uh, probably if we had graphite on the bottom of that, it would jump up. Let's uh, I can get it apart. It may have stuck together already. Too bad. Let's see what kind of amps we got out of that. See what we got. So 82.4, 82.5, and climbing. And we have 82, 4.8, slightly higher, not much. Alright, we're back for number two run. And we made it back up to our initial voltage and climbing higher. Fairly fast, too. But we're going to test it right there. 826 827 for testing. 3, 2, 1. Oh, climbed up to 5 point something. So we'll run a, run a couple more on it, but it looks like it's going to behave just the same as the other one. Alright, back for discharge number 3. And uh, one thing I can say about building it this way is the it, the charge rate is much faster um, but you can see we're up to 0 0.83 uh, now so let's test it there and see what we got right? 3, 2, 1 5.1 about the same as it was last time alright so less, uh, less amps but uh, faster charge rate, maybe getting more uh, oxygen to it. I'm not sure. But anyway, interesting uh, test. We'll uh, now we'll switch over and uh, do something else. All right, I'm back. And what I've got this time is another cell made from 
uh, membranes that I'm I made earlier and I put them in this uh, Tupperware container so they could would dry out slowly in there and uh, to see what kind of effect that would uh, would have on them. And so this has been in there for maybe uh, four hours or so. And I just I just put it together so to save some time and we'll start testing it. Let's, let's call it uh, 808. I like that number. And our amps are 3, 2, 1, 30.6 or 30.7. So that's right where the other one was at. We'll be back and try to. And I'm back. And the cell made it back to 0.808 easily. I steady climb the whole way and it's still climbing up. We'll do it at, at 0.82. Let's see what we get. Alright. 0.82. And our amps are 3, 2, 1. 32 something. So, same thing. Climbed up to 32. 32.5 maybe. Not sure. And 0.814. Whatever that was. But it's doing exactly the same thing. A little bit of a voltage increase and a little bit of an amperage increase. It's real consistent with the uh, the last cell we tested. Now well, this time, this thing is uh, taking off. It's not showing any signs of uh, slowing down, and it's it's uh, already up to 0.85, and it's still flipping the increase every four or five seconds or less. Let's hit it at 0.861. Alright. 3, 2, 1. 32 something again. I think it's 32.9 or something. So a small volt or amp increase, but uh, a huge volt increase, and that's going to, you multiply those together, that's a, that's a big increase. We'll come back and try it again. And at this time, the charge rate is uh, slowed down some. It's acting like it's drying out, which it probably will dry out faster since we trimmed the edges off the membrane. We'll call it 846. All right, three, two, one, thirty-two. So we might want to give it a little bit of water right now, but we'll uh, we'll test it one more time to see. All right, I'm back. Eight three six. Let's test it right there. Eight three six, and our amps are three two one twenty nine something. So we're dropping off a little bit. Looks like it's drying out to me. So, uh, but it takes a little while to hydrate it too. So, uh, I'll put a few drops of water on it, and, and we'll see if it improves it. All right, I'm back again, and we've got uh, almost 0.83. There's 0.83, but it's uh, it's trying to get back up to the. 0.836 it was before. It's hard to get water into this cell though. Uh, I put a few drops of water along the edge of the membrane and uh, that's about all you can do. So we'll measure it at right there at uh, 0.834. See what we got. 3, 2, 1 climbed up to 27 so 1834 so it's on the decline probably because of water all right I'm back and the cell's still having trouble getting its volts back we're at let's see right there 0.813814 so we're going to 
test it right there and see what we get. Alright, 3, 2, 1, 20, climb to 25. So it's just getting weaker. And I tried dipping it, I, I put it, held it under water for uh, about 15 seconds. It's hard to get water back into these, these boogers. I think the name of the game is going to be uh, conservation of water. Don't let it dry out. You know, put it in a bag with a little air hole in it so it gets oxygen, and then don't let it dry out. I think that would be the, the best of approach here. Okay, I'm back with one more opportunistic uh, experiment we can do. This is some uh, titanium dioxide and white glue that uh, came off of the plastic uh, container that I was using. And uh, so I'm going to cut a little piece out of this, try to make it sort of square. Let's take uh, some graphite. Put a little bit on her. Draw here. And then we'll take a piece of plain paper and dip it in the borax for a separator. A little weight and water on it. Now yeah, we're up to 92. 192. It's climbing fairly fast. Let's uh, give that a minute or two. And uh, Is it going to go 957? Yeah. Sooner or later. Come on. There it is. Alright, 957. It looks like a good number. Alright, and see what amps are at 9.57 and 3, 2, 1, 10.2, right? That's not bad out of that little uh, piece of uh, film right there. Should we run it another, let it recharge and try it? Maybe, huh? Let's try that. I'll be back. Alright, now I'm back. Got delayed. One of my neighbors came over to talk to me, so this, uh, but it's, you can see it, it climbed all the way up to 0.977, so, uh, we'll, uh, we'll test it right there and see what we got. And our amps are 3, 2, 1, 11. 11 something. <laughs> this little bugger here is uh, doing not bad for just a, a piece of uh, film off of a cup. Alright, I'm back one more time. Left this uh, thing alone while I was uh, editing the video and I got the video done and I went back to the to, and checked it. And last time it went to 105 and this time it's at 105.4. Let's check it again. The last time it was uh, still about 10, I think 9 point something uh, milliamps. So here we go. 3, 2, 1. So, yeah, it went up to 9 something again. So, uh, it looks like this is a pretty nice cell. It may be that we ne I need to dry it longer. So I'm hoping that uh, curing those things in that uh, container over there uh, leaving them dry in there, slow dry, uh, might really help. So uh, we'll find out here uh, as they dry out and I, and I test more of them. Alright, thanks for watching.